Right now, it is great to catch up with San Diego State's offensive coordinator, Jeff Heklinski, back with us here on the home of the Aztecs, Extra 1360. San Diego State opening Snapdragon Stadium tomorrow with a scrimmage for season ticket holders as they're just two weeks out from the opener against the University of Arizona. Coach, as always, we appreciate the time. How has the offense been progressing here over the first couple of weeks of camp? Well, John and Jim, first off, thank you for having me on again. Always a pleasure to spend time with you. And, uh, you know, I, I think we're really coming along really well. Really excited about, uh, you know, the energy that we have and, and the things that uh, we've been able to accomplish, uh, you know, through the course of, of fall camp so far and, and culminating in a, in a huge scrimmage tomorrow for us. An exciting time. Football's in the air. Snapdragon Stadium is open and, and we get to open it up tomorrow for the first time. And uh, we're ready to go. Yeah, we're, we're all excited. Coach, uh, I say going into this season, one of the not biggest concerns, but the one of the biggest things we're looking at with the offense right now is the offensive line. For you, how do you develop a young offensive line without having an opportunity to play an actual game until the opener? Well, I, I mean, you face our defense every day, and you better develop quickly. Mm, yeah. They will expose you very fast up front. And, uh, you know, that challenge every day has really created a, a, an environment of development, competitiveness, and toughness in, in every one of our guys in that room. And Mike Goff, uh, Gary Bernardi, uh, Ryan Crum, all those guys that are involved with our offensive line and development of our offensive line have done a great job through fall camp. And we've had, you know, a lot of young guys step up. And, and it's been exciting to see from Josh Simmons uh, to uh, Tommy Mirabelli, Ross Masuli. Cade Bennett, uh, you know, I mean, it, it, it's just been really exciting to watch their development, watch them compete every day, and, and really come together as a unit. And, and I think everybody will be very pleased with the direction we're headed there. Jeff Heklinski, San Diego State's offensive coordinator, with us right now on John and Jim. By the way, we will broadcast, have an Aztec preview show for you tomorrow afternoon from Snapdragon Stadium beginning at 3 p.m. Coach, I know we've asked you about him previously, but, but what has impressed you about Braxton Burmeister the most since he's been a part of this program? Uh, you know, he comes with a great amount of energy every day. And, and I think the one thing that uh, working with him from, from spring through right now is, is how incredibly he, intelligent he is towards football and, and towards learning football. And, uh, I, I, you know, he is, you know, he's really the energy of our offense. And, and you can tell it. He's, you know, like Coach has said, he's got the respect of the team. And he's gained that trust, and, and he's taken and run with it. And, uh, you know, I, I love Coach. I love the whole room, from Will Haskell to Kyle Crum to Lee Yu. I, I just love the entire room and the energy that we have. And, and it's really been a, a fun process to come in every day and work with these guys. And, and Braxton spearheads all of that. Coach, you lost a pretty talented receiver in T.J. Sullivan to a torn ACL. Uh, what impact do you think that will have on your offense? You know, obviously, when, when something like that happens, and it's it's devastating, uh, one for TJ, and, and what a tremendous uh, young man and, and a tremendous teammate that, that we lost. And, and he will be a major part of what we're doing. At the scrimmage the other day, he was signaling everything. And, and so, you know, he's going to stay involved, and, and obviously he's a big part of, of who we are as an offense in that receiver room. But it's the opportunity for other people to step up now. And obviously, we got we got two uh, really, really, really highly competitive and, and, and great wide receivers in Terrell Shavers and Jesse Matthews. And now again, we'll look for young guys to step up, and and that's been the process since TJ went down. And and we've had two or three guys really emerge: Breon Penny and Makai Shaw, being two off the top of my head that that have had a great uh, uh, emergence since that 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 event went down with TJ. Coach, how do you feel about your depth overall at running back? It feels like it's always you always have three, four, five guys, and it seems like 2022 is no exception. Exactly. And, and that's something that, that Jeff Horton does a great job of in terms of bringing those guys around, developing the room. And, and I'll tell you, uh, you know, we're, we're moving those guys all over the place. And, you know, JV's obviously his role has continued to grow in, in everything that we're doing with him. Chance Bell has had a great sp uh, spring and fall coming in. And Cam Davis, I'll tell you, Cam Davis is probably one of the highlights of the camp. Mm -hmm. I would say between him and Aaron Green at tight end, those are two of, of the biggest risers throughout the course of fall camp 
that uh, are, are vying for a, a lot of playing time come again uh, come September third against Arizona. Coach Snapdragon Stadium, you guys see it tomorrow. I think you were there earlier this week with the with the players. Were you there or no? Uh, yes, I was. I got to be there this time. <laughs> oh, that's uh, right. So, that's right. Yes. It was in the middle of a week, and it was in the middle of fall camp. If it was tonight, I would be at JR's game. So <laughs> you know, that's what, that's the great thing about being being with coaches is, is is the family atmosphere, uh-huh. allowing allowing us to go see our kids, especially. So this is JR's first start at, at left tackle for Rancho Bernardo High School on the varsity. So I'm excited to go see that. But you know, Snapdragon, it was a beautiful place. I, I think all the credits got to go to President De La Torre our athletic director, J.D. Wickard, and obviously our head coach, Brady Hoke, and in the development of this whole process through the last two years, through a pandemic, and and now seeing the final product, uh, just what a tremendous environment and a, and a tremendous venue it's going to be. All right, so tell us about tonight. Oh, forget about Snapdragon for a second. <laughs> JR is starting at yeah. left tackle tonight for RB. Who are they playing? Where is this game at? And when are you going to be there? They got they, they play San Marcos. Uh, we got we got a team meeting at five. We got uh, our, our test, so we're, we're 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 working this just like a game would be. So this is a typical Friday for us. So mm-hmm. we got our test and our video test right after the team meeting. Dinner at six, and, and then walk through, and then I am leaving right after the walk through, and I am uh, extremely. I mean, if you can tell it in my voice, I am jacked up to watch him play. Uh, this will be the first time that I'll see him play. And, and I can't wait to go watch him. What are your nerves like watching your own son play compared to what your nerves are like when you get ready to prepare your football team to play? I got to be honest with you. I can't watch my kids play. <laughs> yeah. It makes me, it, yeah. I mean, I, I, I am, I am probably the calmest person uh, ever on Saturday <laughs> calling plays. Right. But, you know, JR's a little easier because he's an offensive uh, tackle and a defensive lineman. And so, you know, he's doing the bulk of the grunt work. Uh, my son Mikey, when I watch him pitch on the mound, I want to throw up every throw. <laughs> so, uh, but I love it to death. I mean, I, and, and again, I'm fortunate to work for somebody like Brady Hoke, who puts an emphasis on, on making sure that we're there and being a part of their lives outside of football. Well, we're excited for you to have your chance to uh, watch your son tonight, Jr. And also, we're looking forward to seeing you tomorrow. The scrimmage at Snapdragon Stadium for season ticket holders. We are 15 days out from that opener against the University of Arizona. Coach, thank you as always. We'll catch up soon, and uh, best of luck this weekend. Guys, again, thank you very much. And, hey, whoever put that picture on Twitter of me, tell them I appreciate that very much. Yeah, that was yeah. less great. A lot less gray hair in that picture than I have right now. I was now, thinking I the same thing. You. I was thinking the same thing. That Jim was me, it, Coach. Yeah. When Jim posts, I'm like, oh, I wonder if Coach is going to see this. Because this is not exactly the, the most recent photo. But I'm glad that you appreciated the photo that we yeah, showed. You're welcome. So just, just, just tell that person that the $20 in the, is in the mail. It's in the mail. Money. Exactly. Yes. All right, Coach. Enjoy the weekend. We'll catch up again uh, before the opener. Thanks, guys.